I invite you all to, pick, to close your eyes for a moment. Picture the forests of our province. See the lush and vibrant green leaves and the ever-wide tree trunks towering above. Hear the sounds of water flowing and the breeze through the branches. Feel the warmth of the sun on you, encouraging all around to rise taller and dig deeper into the rich brown soil. Now wake up and see the red and black dead forest devastated by the mountain pine beetle. See the dead limbs void of life stretching for miles. See the clouds of smoke from fire carried by the wind. Feel the disconnection, the barren landscape, and a loss of a piece of you. The people of BC have prided themselves on their connectedness to the outdoors, an appreciation or biophilia for the environment. Fact, our forests have been plagued by fire, pest, disease, and mismanagement. But that isn't the end of our story. We have an opportunity to change all of that. My research is part of a larger project that offers an innovative type of biotechnology. This technology may help us restore our forests at a faster rate than traditional tree breeding, leaving us with healthier, stronger, more sustainable trees. But what's the catch? If this technology is so great, why don't we start using it yesterday? Because of our perception. How do we perceive biotechnology? What if I told you that this technology is in a completely different realm than genetic engineering? Because after all, that is what you think when you think of biotechnology, right? You think of mutations, clones, and splicing of DNA. But what if I told you that this technology doesn't involve any of those things? It simply informs us which genes are encoded on the DNA. And the benefit? So that we can avoid waiting the many, many generations it takes for a tree to reach maturation just to see if that gene is expressed. My research will specifically survey whether the implementation of genomic technologies are perceived positively. By surveying the relevant stakeholders and their perceptions of the costs and benefits, I will determine if this technology may present a possible solution to our current problems. But will people acknowledge the advantage of knowing whether a tree is fire resistant as a seedling? Or will their perception of the term biotechnology make that decision for them? Will we once again bring back the lush, vibrant 50 shades of green that we once knew? With eyes wide open, will we once again wander through the trees that have escaped their dreams? Only time will tell. Thank you.